In this lesson, we will be looking at assignments, grades, and categories. To create an assignment or a category, you click the Create button on the top right of your gradebook. Once you click on Assignment, it'll pop open a box in the middle of the screen. Enter your assignment information. Make sure to choose a category that is represented in your grade scale. Choose if you would like the score type to be points, percent, letter, or collected only. You may use collected only if you do not want a score to count into your final grade. Choose the amount of points the assignment is worth. Choose to count in final grade, a due date, and you may enter a short description if you like. The Students tab allows you to add or remove students from this um, assignment. So if you have only a couple students that need to make something up, you can choose those students and it will only show up in their gradebook. In this assignment, I want it to apply for all students. You may also tag standards to this. If your standards are not listed in your class, make sure to contact your system administrator. You may also change the publish date for when it will show up in a student and parent portal. This allows you to create assignments and not allow students to see them beforehand. Once you're finished with the assignment, save it. Your assignment will now show up on the top of your assignments list. Use the same process to create a category. Name it. Choose a color. Add a description. Keep in mind, if you want this category to count into your final grade, make sure to adjust your grade calculation formula. We'd also like this to show up for all of our classes, so we'll select them all. Set the default score type. This will show up as 15 points every time you put a homework category in. You can always change this when you create an assignment. This category will now be active in your gradebook. To view assignments, you can click on the assignment list view, which is your default view. Click on the score sheet to view each assignment for the student. Or click on categories to view your categories in your class. To grade your assignment, you click on the assignment. Polygons. Once you click inside the assignment score, a bar opens on your right-hand side. This bar allows for easy grading if using an iPad or other touchscreen devices. To enter a grade, you can click the numbers or you can simply type it in. One new feature used to be um, for scoring assignments is you can fill every assignment with the same grade if you would like. So if you know most of your students turned this assignment in and it was fine, click the fill button It'll put a 15 in for each student. After that, you can go in and change the couple students that might not have turned it in. Use your symbols to show if it's missing, collected, late, incomplete. This just allows for a lot quicker grading of your assignments. You may also use the view to fill for standards. So we can go sideways. Or if you know most people turned it in and got fours, you can also fill um, vertically. Remember once you fill these to go change them for the students that didn't turn it in. The bar on the right also allows you to add comments for each student. For example, if you want to go look at the student who did not turn it in, you can go in and add a comment for that student. Missing. You can also choose a comment bank comment. So any comments you use more than often, you can insert them right into your comments bar. Once you are done filling out this information, click Save. Your assignment now shows up on your list with everything scored. 